Hi, I'm Connor McClendon. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? This week, I talked to NHS seniors Chris West and Grace Schiaffo, who are both captains on the crew team. All right, so crew is a unique sport in that you get to do it in the fall and the spring. Uh, so do you feel that there are any advantages to doing it two seasons a year? Uh, I think there are a lot of advantages just in that we get to spend so much more time together. So we get to really strengthen the bonds between teammates. And then also you just get more time to practice the sport. And so there's a really nice progression from the fall to the spring season where the fall is um, a focus on technique and we have longer races. And then the spring is a focus on strength and power so it looks like you guys were running some pretty intense drills during practice the other day. Uh, so what does a typical crew practice look like? Well, we get there about 3.30. Um, you bring oars down, you bring launch stuff down. Launch is basically the boat that your coach follows you in. And, um, and then you bring the boat down. And then basically, I mean, each coach has different... Um, different practices but you do some drills you do you know you do a warm-up and then you do usually do your race pieces sometimes they can be you can do like two three minute pieces or you do one ten minute piece depending on the race that's coming up we might work on race starts which are these fast um, like 10 strokes that we do at the beginning of a race to get you started um, because you're starting from a standstill um, and then we'll work on some sprint pieces or, or something else depending on the day so how did you originally get into crew? Um, I saw crew on the Olympics in 2012 and I was I just I turned on the TV and I saw the sport and I was I just thought it looked so cool. Um, so I tried it out that summer and I fell in love with it. So I've been doing it uh, since then uh, for about five years now. Uh, and finally, this is your senior season, uh, so your last season here at the high school. What are you going to miss most about being a part of this program? I'll probably miss the people most of all. It's It's awesome because we're out we're not just in NHS, like we get to branch out and we know other people from other schools, so I'm going to miss the people mostly. Um, absolutely, just the, the team and the team members, I'll really miss that. But then uh, there's just this wonderful sensation during the race. Um, I absolutely love spring races because um, Usually, you get to do a race start, which is what I was describing, and um, so you start from a standstill, and all these boats are lined up, and um, the announcer counts down, and it's like the anticipation is incredible, and then uh, everyone just as a single boat, we take like 10 very rapid strokes, and there's so much adrenaline, and that's just so, so exciting. I think I'll just miss that feeling so much. All right, great. Thanks so much for being on Hamped Up. Yeah, thank you very much. In other sports news, the baseball team had their most dominant win of the season on Wednesday as they crushed East Hampton 21 to nothing. The softball team is 14 and 3, and junior Anna Kerwood pitched a one-hitter in the team's 5 to nothing win over Chicopee this past Wednesday. The boys lacrosse team fell to second place in their league with a 13 to 10 loss against East Longmeadow on Wednesday. The girls lacrosse team is 11 and 4, and the team scored 20 goals in a win over South Hadley this past Friday. The boys track and field team finished the regular season at 5-1, and, and the girls team finished the regular season at 4-3. and three. The boys tennis team defeated Amherst 4-1 on Tuesday, and the girls tennis team had their most dominant win of the season this past Friday with a 5-0 win over East Longmeadow. Finally, the girls ultimate frisbee team crushed PVPA 13-2 on senior night. Senior Julia Snodgrass led the team with 6 points.